You know what? I kind of want to open a candy bag from last year. Damn it, that would have been epic. Damn it. No, it could have been epic. <laughs> Subscribe to JB Dragon Motocross Boss. My goal is 2,000 subscribers. If I had 2,000 subscribers, I will do a lot of fun things to celebrate it, including 2,000 subscriber merch and a new 2K sub signature in Lumber Tycoon 2 for you guys to collect when I hit, after I hit 2,000 subs. Now I got a Jenny's, an OG Jenny's anyways. So the reason why I wanted to do that before I start put on the warning or anything is because I wanted to, to put it right at the beginning of the video and hope to get a candy bar, a cyan candy bar from last year. That would have made the video very interesting, but obviously it's only a one in 200 and there's a 100, well basically a 99.5% chance that um, it was not going to happen. So, you know, yeah. Beginning of video screwed up, but I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> But I did it anyway, just for that 0.5%. That's kind of how love is for some people. Like, um, here's how some people react in terms of love or like just crushing. Like, you know that there is over 99% chance that, you know, it won't work. But that 0.5% chance keeps you going. At least crushing, you know, at least um, having a crush. Today in psychology class, my psychology my psychology teacher started talking about crushing just for a little bit of the class. And he was just explaining how, like, you know, you crush when um, you, like, have feelings for someone, but, you know, they're not reciprocated back to you from the other person. And that made me think of the word. Did they Do they call it a crush because it crushes you because you're the only one feeling that way and it's a one-sided relationship? Maybe it is called that for that reason. Maybe not. I don't even know. I don't even care. Actually, I kind of do because it's a little interesting. But it's definitely not the end of the world. Right? Like, goodness, goodness gracious. Damn, my new Discord looked a little funny today. I didn't have the uh, the uh, member list on the side that like shows who's online or not. All right. Anyways, so in this video, I'm going to talk about whatever comes to mind because I'm at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to content right now. Um, anyways, so... I don't know. This will be the last one of these videos that I'll record um, for uh, today because I am getting a little sick because I had like a, a whole like push of uh, motivation. I'm pretty sure I recorded four stock up season videos back to back. I'm pretty sure. But you know, that's still good because I want to get two videos out today. I also want to get two videos out tomorrow. And then uh, once it's Wednesday, I'm going to have to record more again. I'm going to have to scrap for more content. But I don't want to edit any, like, collabs or anything. So, you, so um, you know, I actually did end up... Uh, let's talk about this. Um, I posted a couple of unedited videos. Let's talk about the second channel in general being a video dump. So, I uploaded a couple of unedited videos for future videos that will come out. You can watch them if you'd like. But if you don't want the video to be spoiled to you, then don't watch them. Watch them when they're edited, all right? Um, now, um... For the Astrox is smarter than you think too. Yep, that's coming out. Remember the first one from last year? Yep, well, the second one's coming out. Um, and Astrox told me not to necessarily say this, but I don't really don't. I really don't get that. Um, Astrox is editing those videos, so it's going to be like a little bit different of a style. It's going to be funny. It's going to be fun. Um, I'm not going to let too many videos be like that because I feel like that'll like tarnish the style of my channel, and I stole my channel to be the style of what it is. But just to have a couple of videos here and there about that, that's completely fine. So the second channel is for those videos to exist. I, I was originally going to upload them as unlisted, but I'm like, no, I want them to be on the second channel and for anyone to see. And plus, it could get me a couple views on the second channel as well. Grow the second channel a little bit, I guess. Not like it's the biggest priority, but it also feels kind of nice having like a second channel. It's kind of interesting. Also, all future reaction videos will also be on the second channel because I do not want um, reaction videos to be messing with um, YouTube recommending my content. I feel like I might have screwed it up a little bit with all the reaction videos I posted in the past. I'm no longer going to post any more reaction videos because if you post too many different types of videos on one channel, then YouTube will not know what audience to recommend it to and then it'll start getting confused. But I feel like I can kind of revive... I could be wrong, but I feel like I might have the ability to revive it by only posting gaming content then youtube will know to up to recommend it to people who are interested in gaming and stuff or like lumber tiger 2 whatever roblox 
Um, so all so sorry to Jake the Fox, but your second your third channel will get less attention. But I don't want the algorithm of my, of my main channel to get screwed up at all. Um, so yeah, I, I don't want it to get further screwed up than how screwed up it is right now. Um, now. I have a new JTS pub. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to react to that video right after this because that's still something I did not know, do. I'm excited. So basically, me and Jake the Fox will record a JTS pub and pause video every single time over his house. Um, there are a few times where I didn't record any with him because I was bored um, of making those. But I, I regained motivation and um, the past three times I was there, me and him created a new JTS pub and pause video. Um, it's extremely fun to make. Yes, it is hard getting an idea. He almost never has an idea. Um, I try to scrap for an idea. Like, it's hard. It's hard. That's why I don't run my own uh, plushie channel. It's hard to come up with ideas. Let alone, it's hard to, like, do, like, you know, do puppet videos and stuff. But the amount of times that I go over Jake the Fox's house anyway, by the time I go over his house next, I'll have new motivation for another JTS Puppet Pals video. All right. I had a little theory. What if I created two JTS Puppet Pals videos? Like, if, what if me and him recorded two JTS Puppet Pals video, videos in one weekend? That would be pretty cool. Like, maybe a part one or part two? I don't know. Um, but anyways, I like to re react to all the JTS Puppet Pals videos that release. Um, and I like to comment about that it because, you know, I have a lot to say about it. But they're so fun to comment about and they're so fun to watch. And Jake the Fox gets lots of enjoyment out of seeing when I post a reaction video on the newest JTS Puppet Pals video. In fact, I did not even re release a video like that yet. He's probably going to ask me, hey, where's the reaction video? Because that's how much he uh, likes the reaction videos. He likes the reaction videos that I make on it. I thoroughly enjoy making it. Um, I've just been doing other stuff. But yeah, I will record that right after this video. Um, and yes. That there is proof this is the fifth um stock up season video on this base that i've made um today back to back all right being pretty productive today um i may or may not stream i don't know i'm gonna at least get these videos out and then i'll stream or maybe i just won't stream again maybe i'll just record i don't know maybe i'll just talk to people in stock up because it, it does feel kind of just tiring just streaming all the time but at the same time it gets me a bunch of subs so i have to push myself to stream you know I shouldn't push myself too, too hard, though. All right. I used to post um, videos that had the non-copyright music in the background, and I'd post blah, 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 made by blah, 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 and then I'd have, like, a random JB Drake went across boss picture. I'm not going to do that anymore, but I have that for a couple of songs. I'll even have in the title used in this type of JB Drake went across boss video as well, because technically it's true. <laughs> I used it. I used those songs. Um, anyways... But not much else goes on to there. Um, FNF videos as well. Just, there's just a whole wide range. Like FNF gameplay videos. There's a whole wide range of just different content that goes on there. And if the algorithm for that channel gets screwed up, I don't care. I really do not. I just want to have the second channel to have it. Because it's kind of it's kind of cool to have the second channel. Will I ever get monetized in that channel? To be honest with you, I probably will never get monetized in that channel. I probably will never. If I do, then it'll probably be like a decade from now or something. Because that channel is hardly getting any subs. Like, it actually got a lot of subs in 2022, but this year it hardly gained any subs. Like, goodness freaking gracious. But um, I remember my main channel used to be at 100 subscribers, at least a little over it, um, like two years ago in 2021. And um, I was, like, thinking to myself in 2022, that would be crazy if my second channel hit 100 subs because I remember my main channel used to be at 100, like, a little over 100 subs. And it already did. It's at 112 right now. But I don't really feel that feeling anymore because, you know, now my main channel is already at 1.5K. I mean... The more you guys subscribe, it'll get to 1.6k. We're already at 1.52k, meaning we have 80 more subscribers to 1.6k. I will try to get to at least 1.6k um, before this month ends. That's actually a pretty fair goal. Um, but if I keep grinding this much, I might even get to 1.7k before the month ends. Will we get there? Probably not. Um, but to be safe, I like to say that I'll at least get 1.75k uh, uh, subs by the end of the year. Because it's like kind of like, you know, it's like the third quarter point between 1,000 and 2,000 subs. And I'm pretty happy with those results. But actually, I know that it's good to have like low expectations. But I need to adjust them more to realistic. Let's be honest here. I will most likely hit 1.8K subscribers before the year ends. 
let's face it, as long as I keep streaming a lot, a lot, a lot, I got about, this is a random thought here, um, I got about 10, 11 something subs during my 24 hour stream. And I have a feeling that I might get that amount or I might even get more just because I'm doing a 24 hour stream and because I have more subscribers. I could be entirely wrong though, but um, I feel like I will get more subscribers. There was last year, there's a dude, I forget who they are, so I can't really DM them now because now people can donate to me, but back then they couldn't. Um, I forgot to DM that person when I started um, being able to make money. So too bad i lost out of money but it's not really that bad i don't really care um but they like to donate to 24-hour streamers so who knows maybe someone who likes to donate to 24-hour streamers will swoop by swoop by and donate i expect they not expect but i well actually i guess expect is the correct word but i don't mean it as strict as it's usually me meant well let's just say this i believe that i will get at least one donation during the whole 24 hours donations are not the most common thing on my channel but i feel like at least somebody will donate and that somebody will probably be you going VR donating, it, donating and saying happy 24 hour stream boy or something like that. And then we'll say long A word candy cane. All right. Goodness gracious. I, I, no, I, I don't want to lose that pumpkin. And I just lost two or one. I don't know. I just jumped in there. And, like lost forever. So I'm not going and chasing them. And then we have the open pumpkin here because I wanted to see if it had particles. I don't see floating particles. I feel like it glows better though because I could see more of a light. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe it glows just as much as it glowed before. Let's turn this off for a second. Look at that. I like that. That is a spooky truck. Now I wonder what all the pumpkins glowing and them being put together and glowing would look like. Probably just a whole like blah mix of colors so i feel like they need to be like separated in like different areas or something another thing about lumber tag and two is that for each year the color of items never really necessarily match each other other on purpose i mean the first christmas gift in 2023 is like blue and um the pumpkins and the candy bag the pumpkin and the candy bag last year is blue well the pumpkin this year is blue too but a different color like a different form of blue then the candy bags are yellow so then or gold well so then why won't they uh put yellow pumpkins but at this point i think i'd i think i prefer the randomness more than the organized because then it just gets all weird like but then there's this is supposed to match the, you know like the, the style lumber tech do has currently with um it just being random with like Oh, there could be two, like, there could be two of the same color Halloween items this year, but then the next year there could be that same color but a different form of it, but then, um, yellow of the candy bag, um, when they're still yellow and eating for the pumpkin, but, um, that's just how Lumber Tech 2 does the style. You know, I believe that they're going to do a yellow pumpkin, or can't, not pumpkin, candy bag, but I didn't think they'd call it golden, but that is actually pretty cool. 